I don't dress at all. You can interrogate me with torture, nigga. I won't confess at all. I'll just keep on crying. Keep on sobbing. Ask me any question in my head. I'll keep on bobbing. You think I'm saying yes for the first few seconds. Till you realize I'm in my own world. Thinking of your girl naked. <laughs> I'm a federal nightmare. I'm a small motherfucker who ain't scared who don't fight fair. <laughs> Shit. So if you wanna make me a motherfucking martyr, do what you gotta do. Bitch nigga starter. Huh. What's happening, Puff? I'll be back to you if JD ain't had enough. <laughs> yeah? Jermaine Dupree, king of the pedophiles, if you ask me, baby. <laughs> Jermaine Dupree, small as a child. If I was fucking Jenny, she'd already have a child. <laughs> <laughs> you probably shouldn't talk about sizes. No, that's okay. You big on the radio. That's right. And you're, and you're big Turn in it prison. Down. And you're yes, big in prison. I've never been to prison. Uh, you have 19 felonies, times. no convictions. Yeah. Knock yeah. it off. Prison okay. and jail aren't the same. No, no. Okay. No, no, no. Calm, calm no, no, no. Calm down. Only one calm, of us has $12 calm, calm worth down. of jewelry on. Uh, no, no, no. No, no, $12. No, 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 no. That all is available. If you want to if you want to have Wanda's jewelry, please uh, go to go sit go, go or Shay. quick trip at any Shay. point. Come if you buy Shay. two packs of Newport 100s, they will give you everything Wanda has on right now for $7.99 and it comes with a free car wash. Won't you come on down? Yes, thank you. Absolutely. We appreciate it. Good enough. Something you wish you were better at. Dealing with liars. Worst piece of advice you ever got. Don't ever change. What never fails to make you laugh? Ah. People smiling. I mean, but you know, these, these, some of these people... Martin like... tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Cat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. I said, Martin, you got my motherfucking word, my nigga. Go do what you got to do. When you come back, I'm in your movie. Don't trip. I don't need to see the script or nothing. You know, we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house, too. I almost died. And I got to read this script for all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. Why do we need to be in a dress? And I get so... You let Ricky Smiley sit here and you said out that mouth, you stole Friday after next. The one I was in, <laughs> I wish all, all of America fumbled a bit when that happened. And, and then he said some stuff that we haven't heard in 100 years in Hollywood. You ain't say nothing. This man told you he had Cat Williams' role. He was going to be Money Mike. And Cat Williams was going to be, was going to be the Santa Claus. Now let's, three quick points. You mean in Hollywood, they cast a five foot five black Santa Claus that weigh 145 pounds. That's your story. Your story is the Ricky Smiley that couldn't even do curse words because he had a Christian fan base. He was going to play the pimp. Why you didn't ask him, why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? Well, I didn't know he, he shouldn't be able. You wouldn't let a, 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 a athlete that been on steroids talk about one of the greats. <laughs> Ricky Smiley can't act because Ricky Smiley can't act. He told you the story about when the movie came out. Where did he say he watched it? At home. He wasn't even at the premiere. You telling this man, you stole that. Oh, so he could get his name in the same sentence with a great one. It is sad. He was just that bitter when we were shooting it. He told everybody, it should have been my role. Everybody on the scene. Why do you think no cast member has ever said anything? He could have played that role like you. I thought he, he Sir, was... Sir, no one... Why no... He was with KD? 
He beat up Terry Crews? Why nobody know this story? You talking about in Hollywood, they switched off roles. You take this and he, what? So Ricky, Ricky Smiley knows this. I don't know why liars lie, but I can tell you this. We auditioned in Los Angeles. Yes. I was audition number 201. 200 black comedians auditioned for the role of Money Mike with me. You're saying all 201 of us was auditioning and you had already had the role and had already shot the role in four days? The truth of the matter is, the Money Mike in the original script got raped in the bathroom. And that's what Ricky Smiley was okay with. Cat Williams had to take the risk in front of the studios and the cast and our powers that be in his very first movie and say respectfully, humbly, guys, if we're talking about anything else, I have no credibility and I have no pull. But we're talking about comedy, right. where I have all the credibility and all the pull. The problem with Friday After Next is we're trying to make a classic comedy and this comedy involves a rape. And rape is never funny, no matter who it happens to or what the circumstances are. If you would allow me to allow us to do this movie without a black man getting raped in it, I promise you that it will be twice as funny as it would be with him getting raped. So considering that's the real story, why would you bring up that story? 35 members of the cast and crew have never brought up that Ricky Smiley was gonna play Money Mike. No one ever saw me put on a Santa Claus suit. We got a wardrobe department. They made a Santa Claus suit for me. Why that wasn't in the bloopers? Why? And, and here's the other thing. Everything that Steve and Cedric never performed at the comedy store at all. Tiffany was only seen at the Laugh Factory. In 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of going to a sold out Kevin Hart show. There being a line for him ever getting a standing ovation at any well, comedy club. He already had his deals when he got here. Have we heard of a comedian that came to LA and in his first year in LA, he had his own sitcom on network television and had his own movie movie called Soul Plane that he was leading. No, we've never heard of that before that person or since that person. What do you think a plant is? Maybe people don't understand the definitions of these words. He just did his documentary with Chris Rock where he shows you that his whole upbringing in comedy was on the East Coast. Yeah, it so how simultaneously was he here in Los Angeles doing the same thing? It did happen. It did happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say, we don't believe you. Like it's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean again? These people are not powerful. Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. So special. Special.